Big news this morning. Relief could be in sight for millions of Americans struggling with the high cost of prescription drugs. We all feel it. The White House this morning unveiled the first 10 prescription drugs that will be subject to new price negotiations with Medicare. They include drugs used to prevent blood clotting, to lower blood sugar levels for people with type 2 diabetes, and to treat conditions like heart failure, rheumatoid arthritis, blood cancers, and Crohn's disease. Joining us now is domestic policy advisor to President Biden, Neera Tanda. Neera, thanks for being with us this morning. This is a welcome news to so many people who struggle with the cost of prescription drugs in this country. Tell us how you got to this list of 10, which I understand is just a first list, more to come, and also what it means practically for someone as they go out to the drugstore to get what they need. Yes, we find today to be a historic day for lowering drug costs for healthcare in this country. Uh, the drugs were selected by HHS, and really, the, these are the drugs that have the highest spend, highest expenditure in the Medicare program, as outlined in the Inflation Reduction Act. But these are the first 10 drugs, and next year there will be 15 more, and after that, uh, 10 to 15 each year. So uh, this is really just the beginning of lowering drug costs for seniors and ultimately lowering drug costs for Americans. Nira, this is good news. There's no doubt about it. We don't mean to make it out to be negative news, but there are people who are going to be very grateful for the reduction in prices of their drugs, many of them senior citizens. And yet they're going to ask internally, externally, whatever. They're going to think and ask perhaps, why is it the drug companies can raise their prices overnight or within a week, and yet the lowering of our prescription costs, many of them won't take effect until 2026 when I or anyone else might be dead? Mm. Well, that's, wow. uh, that's a really Dark. important question. And it is because that it has taken so long to get to this day. As you know, people have been advocating, uh, leaders in Congress, uh, healthcare advocates have been advocating for Medicare being able to negotiate drug prices for 30 years. And President Biden is the first president to be able to deliver this. So this negotiation it will take place over the next year and prices will go into effect in 2026. But it will deliver real results for people across these drugs, people who are relying on medication for blood cancer, arthritis, diabetes, these drugs, some of which cost $14,000 in the United States, but $6,000 in France, these drugs will be lower in the United States. Nira, good morning. Uh, Jonathan Lemire. Uh, some drug makers have already uh, filed some legal challenges uh, to some of this, and their, one of their arguments is that also that it may hurt the development of, of new treatments uh, being developed. So if you could just explain to me what the administration's rationale and pushback for that is, how confident are you that you can win in court? Well, first and foremost, we know that pharma is trying to go to the courts. Uh, it's, they're running to the courts to deliver what they could not get out of Congress. Basically, they want the ability to basically do any price that they can, charge the American people any price that they can get away with. Joe Biden and uh, the last Congress ensured that that would practice would end. But we, of course, share the goal of ensuring that we have innovation in the pharmaceutical industry. Now, Congressional Budget Office looked at this very deeply and found that only one drug in the next 10 years would be limited, limited by the Inflation Reduction Act, only one. So this argument that there is a, uh, that there is a impact on innovation is really a false one and it is a false choice. People who can't afford drugs don't have access to innovation. So essentially, we are delivering lower price drugs for people. The plan is to ensure that seniors can get lower prices without really any impact on innovation. Nira Elise Jordan here. NBC News has a recent report. One in three American hospitals are facing critical drug shortages, including mm -hmm. chemotherapy drugs and antibiotics. What is the Biden administration doing to solve that? Yes, across several generic drugs, we are seeing some shortages, and that is why the FDA has taken really extraordinary actions to allow other drug manufacturers to come into our market, approve for safety. We've really expanded the ability to get other drugs into the market, and we are seeing from our uh, engagement with cancer centers and pharma pharmacists 
that those drugs are now coming onto the market, but these shortages are significant, and we are uh, ensuring that FDA has all the authority uh, to ensure that full supply is in our country. Domestic policy advisor to President Biden near attend with the news today that 10 critical drugs now will be open to negotiations with Medicare. Nira, thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate it.